I'll tell you what's up. Well, I got completely stuck yesterday in the jungle. I thought I was going to have to walk five kilometres home. Um, I rode up to the top of a hill, had a look round, rode back down again and suddenly found myself down the wrong side of the wrong hill. When I got to the bottom, the bike stopped, wouldn't start again. And the symptoms were absolutely nothing when you press the starter motor. Um, well, the lights went dim, so it's normally a sign that the battery is completely discharged. So I left it 10 minutes, because if it had a short on it, you leave them for 10 minutes and they kind of just come back up a bit. And sure enough, when I pressed the starter button, we had a whole load of buzzing from the relays and all the lights went dim and there was a load of clicking, which is a sign of a flat battery. At first I thought, because the cooling fan had been running and I'd been constantly charging my phone, I thought that I'd been dragging more out of the battery than the charging system could top up. So, I was stuck in the jungle. Luckily, 56 metres away was a trail. So I got down into the trail, got the bike to the end and had a good look at it and uh, I could not find out what was going on. First off, I did the corrosion on the terminals problem, which is where the uh, terminals, battery terminals corrode on the inside. They don't go furry, they just go grey, and that stops it charging properly. So I cleaned those up, didn't make any difference. Pushed the starter button, nothing happened. Next, go into the fuses. This one at the bottom here is your fuel injection fuse. If that one's blown, nothing will work. So I switched that with the headlight one, because that's known to be working. Um, and suddenly it started cranking, but it wouldn't fire, which is odd. So uh, the fuel pump was priming, but it wouldn't fire. These two relays were buzzing away. So uh, yeah, I was stuck there for quite some time, and I was about to do the five kilometre walk when I gave it one last try, and it suddenly started cranking at high speed, which means there was nothing wrong with the battery, and it fired up. So I got the hell out of there. And that now, I suppose, really, we're going to have to do some sort of um, investigation. How can I get you where the light's going to... Oh, come on. There, yeah, you'll have to go there. So, get hold of your red plug here, on the right side, down beyond the bottle. On one side of the plug you've got two wires. Now I know the light's not very good here, so just listen. You've got a green and a blue. Get a piece of wire, bare the ends. Shove one. I can't actually see now where I'm going. Hang on. Shove one in your blue one. Shove the other one in your green one. Ooh. Yeah, the other one in oh dear, 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 dear. Oh, I'm trying to keep it down to two minutes. All right. I made a right dinner of that one. Anyway, you've now got that green and blue bridged out. Come up to your handlebars, turn your engine switch off, your run switch, turn it off. Turn your ignition on. You've now got your neutral light. Right. Turn your engine's run switch to on and watch the yellow light. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Long flash. Ten. One, two. So that's twelve. Seven and twelve. Ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've got 7, 12, 54. Right now it's going to cycle back through them again. So if you missed it first time round, don't worry, just count them again. So there you go 10, 1, 2, long one, 10, long one, 20, long one. 30, long one, 40, long one, 50, one, two, three, four. Got it? Okay, now you've got that information, 
you need to go over to the uh, interweb. So luckily from the interweb, I managed to download a PDF. I got it originally from Thumper Talk. Uh, I just uh, bookmarked the link. And now I can find this anytime I want. Unfortunately, I forgot how to find it and I went back to Thumper Talk and the link no longer works. But anyway, you need to find yourself the Honda Workshop Manual. You need to go to section four and you need to find the symptom troubleshooting code thing. So, uh, MIL blinking. Oh, go to the right bit, boy. First one we said was seven. Seven in brackets is the amount of blinks, but the faults are seven dash one and seven dash two. So that means it could be two faults. And it says ECT sensor voltage low, ECT sensor voltage high. All right, that's seven. Then we get a number 12. Number 12 has got brackets, one fault, 12 one. Injector circuit malfunction. Right, well, yeah, because it was cranking and it wouldn't fire. So it could have been that, right? So 12, and then we got 54 in brackets twice. So we got two different faults for that. Uh, 54-1 and 54-2. Bank angle, bank angle sensor circuit, low voltage. Bank angle sensor circuit, high voltage. Right, well, that's the uh, tip over thing on the right hand side by the bottle. That's your tip over thing. So, um, I've got voltage faults or reading faults with all of them. Well, that all sounds a little bit suspect. So to me, that sounds like I had some sort of um, brain fart somewhere in the electrical system. So now I've got to go through here and I can run the various checks it tells you to run just to rule out that they're not knackered, which they probably aren't because everything's working now. Um, and I'll have to go through every single plug on the bike and... Uh, check for loose dirty corrosion and whatever then what you need to do after that lot is go back over here and clear your ecu faults and go out and ride it again and read your ecu faults to see if they've come back if they've come back the item's still faulty if they've gone away the item is not faulty so to do that I've got to put you back down here again. Somewhere like that. And you'll have to listen to me because I'm not moving the camera around. Well, actually, well, no, I'm not because I've got to do it quick. So basically, turn your ignition off. Turn your engine switch. Now I did uh, to off. I did pick you up. Now, do what you did before. Turn your ignition on click turn your engine to run and the orange light's going to start flicking flickering blinking even right while it's blinking disconnect the wire reconnect the wire turn the ignition off turn the ignition oh <laughs> Turn the ignition off, take the wires out, silly boy. Turn the ignition back on. And it's now set back into uh, clearance mode. Now, if you want to check it now, turn the ignition off. Turn the engine off. Connect these back up. It's a bit messy actually. I don't know if that's fully gone in. I really have got to go with spec savers. Right. You've now got it back in test mode again. Engine run off. Turn your ignition on. Turn your engine run on. One straight light. So that means we should be connected up with no codes to be read. Right. Turn it off. Pull the wire out. Turn it on. 
turn your engine on. There. Normal conditions. Right, so your ECU is now clear. There you go then. Catch you all later.